years to you, Mr. Robinson. A nation turns its lonely eyes to you. Ooh. Oh, hello. Blimey. Is, is it you? Is it you two? Well, I never... How did you get in here? Here, I'll tell you what. While you're here, I'm glad you're here, actually. Do you know what's happened to me? Food two first. I'll tell you exactly what's happened to me. And that's why you haven't blooming well seen me. 15 minute bleeding cities it is apparently according to your saddy key bleeding card. You know that annoying little goblin that runs London. Yes, he thinks he runs the bleeding universe. Mind you, give him time, he probably will, supercilious little oink. Anyway, yes, he's turned our great big city, London Town, into a 15 minute bleeding city. And I'll have you know, Miss, Mr. Voodoo Voos and Mrs. Voodoo Voos. Two and three quarter hours it took me in Chinese stand to get from Birthday Walk up to Bean Whitehall. And I can't tell you what I was doing in Birthday Walk. And where I was going when I was going to Whitehall. On account of the official Secretions Act. You know me. You know. You know. Very exactitude of conversational property. So, but there I was, stranded up your Birthday Bleed Walk. And it weren't a good look, I can tell you as well, food two first. So anyway, yeah, there I was in the bleeding took took Two and three quarters hours to go about... Well, a couple of bleeding roads, really. So, 15 minute cities, my fat bleeding ass. Anyway, where are we this week as you're here, Voodoo Voodoo? Oh, I've got some gossip for you. Yeah. Don't, don't let on I've said. But I've heard, you know, because obviously I've got an entree to all the best salons, you know, Voodoo Voodoo. Yes, my collar's annoying me now, so let me just fiddle. I, I do like to fiddle, you know how it is. So anyway, where was I? Ah. Uh, um, I forgot where I was, though, two verse. Oh, yes, that. Goss and gossip. You ain't gonna guess, so I'm gonna put you out of your misery. You know what's her name? What's that one with the dodgy teeth? She got them all done on the cheap in Turkey. She's got a face like, uh, what's her name? What's that bleeding Jocelyn Wilden style? She's had it all pimped and tucked and primped and everything. Can't think what her name is. Bit of a cheap old tart. Used to get herself about the place on the television and in magazines. Katie Price. Yeah, she's only got to got her daughter christened. Yes, she has. She's got to got her daughter christened. Yeah, she was going to call her Tracy. And then I think they're arguing because I, th I think Ben took Andre wanted to call her Sharon or something like that. Something about Monday and a Tuesday and something, you know, that song, annoying song. Yes, so, yeah, well, they've only got to christen her princess, haven't they? Yes, they have her name's Princess Sharon Tracy or something or other. Well, that's what I've heard. Oh, no, hang on a minute. No, hang on a minute. No, it weren't that old tramp. No, it was, um, what's her name? That other old skank gets herself about the place in Monty Shit Show. Took up with that Barry geezer. You know, old baldy Barry off the voodoo. tube. Him. Yeah, well, here. Yeah. They've got a bleed. They've got their... They have. They've had a christening. Yes, they had the Bishop of Los Angeles. Hosta. Hollywood, Hollywood, Los Angeles, something like that. Apparently it's a place in America. I mean, I don't know, because I mean, I haven't been there. I mean, they wouldn't let me in, would they, food two first, you know? Obviously, definitely in Hollywood, because, well, I'd steal their thunder, wouldn't I? So, yeah, apparently, yes. Yeah, uh, oh, what's her name? Woko, Rono, Jono. I can't think what her name was. She used to go out with John Lennon, I think. Or was it Steve Lennon? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. You can't say Steve Lennon. You can't. Can't say Steve Lennon on the voodoo. You can say John Lennon. And you can say Sean Lennon. And at a push, you could probably say Julian Lennon, who's a bloody good artist. So you probably could get away with saying him. But you can't say... You can't say Steve Lennon. No! You can't! No, you're not allowed to say it. It's very rude. Oh, what's his name? Um, Johnny Irish bloke. Had it on Johnny English. Jim, Jen's English. Yes, had, had Stephen Lennon on it. Yeah! And you can't... You can say... Mrs. Robinson, you can say Mr. Robinson. And you can say Tommy. Tommy, can you hear me? You know, like from the Who. But you can't say Tommy and Robinson. The same sentence, apparently. No, Sensen. Yes! I don't know what the world's coming to. So, anyway, whatever happens, don't say those words. Especially our boot. Not together. As I said, you can say them separately. But don't put them in the same sentence. So, where was I? Yes, that's a bit of voodoo gossip, that's how I said. So, anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah, that stupid old malt over there, isn't she? Yeah, she's got her kiddie. In. Well, I think she's, I think she called her dog Duke or something. And now she's called her daughter Princess. Something like that. I mean, I think, when I heard 
that she'd had her christened over in your Los Angeles. What I heard was drive through wedding in Las Vegas. That's what I heard. And getting itched by a Elvis Presley lookalike. That's what I thought. To be honest, that's what it sounds like. Uh, some geezer, what's called, probably called Bishop. Something, probably John Bishop. Or something like that. And uh, they got around. Probably had, probably baptised with a mug of gin. You know what I mean? Because it's woke coming in. So anyway, she's going around the gaff because what I've heard, and actually I did see it with my own eyes. Well, my one eye that isn't sleeping. She's sporting beige as usual. Yeah, and she's wearing larger sizes now, Vu Toothbrows, apparently. Yes, there are rumours about that she is with child. Well, she's going to be in she because she's due in bloody court soon. So she'll probably have a timely sort of contretemps with the fetus. You know what I mean? We've all been here before, haven't we, Voodoo Toothbrows? But we've all got to play along, haven't we? Just all sing along like before, haven't we? Yes, we have. It's like deja vu, isn't it, Voodoo Toothbrows? So anyway, they got themselves to the constipation, something like that. And apparently, well, I mean, it's obvious, it's obvious, it's a big fat person on the big fat face, what's going on there, Voodoo Toothbrows? It is, isn't it? Because if you think of it, those two, they've got the goods, haven't they? Yes, they've got the goods. What they've done is they've scattered a few breadcrumbs, haven't they? As a sort of little warning to your Chaz. But if you think Chaz, he's a bit lively, like he likes taking bags full of money. Does he does a bit too first. To be, I mean, I do as well. I don't get off of them. But I mean, if I did, I'd take them. Do you get me, Kamish? But so, obviously, you know, he's quite old now, isn't he? I mean, how old is he? He's got to be 80 or something, isn't he? Old Chaz. So he's been taking quite a few bags of money over the years, hasn't he? I mean, he started up the W World F Phenomenal Forum, thingy, W E F with Claw Snob. You know that one where they all get themselves down there and have a load of escorts round. That one capiche and the government wouldn't let him go. He wanted to go. We know now. We know now. Why don't we do two for... Yes, that's why Camilla went on a retreat. She went she, she went over to Madagascar or Indonesia or somewhere. She went on a yoga retreat. Don't bloody blame her. Eh? So anyway, that's all the gossip. Ah, uh, basically, they got to play ball and they, you know, they're going to turn up. But I've heard, listen, because my mate Mordy... Manky Wardy. She ain't from Manchester or nothing. I don't know why they call her Manky Wardy. Anyway, she does the pews round at your Westminster Abbey during the week, she does. And she said to me that they're measuring up, apparently it's all undercover, but they're measuring up for an extra big candle food too for us. So I mean, make of that what you will. I mean, I know Fergie's going, she passed to a candle. But I mean, you know, I don't think it's for Fergie. I think it's to good, sort of, you know, tastefully placed, if you get me. An obfuscation, I think they're intended it to be for two bills. Let's hope so anyway, to be honest. So anyway, I suppose I'd better bloody go. Oh, it's all go at the moment. I'll tell you what, you can't go nowhere in London town at the moment. You've got all the guardsmen marching up and down. They're all being rehearsing. 15 minute bloody cities. I've heard it all bloody now. I really have voodoo. I'm going to have to 